So the season map has returned. We will be going back to Soralace, assuming they haven't changed the name of it, and there are going to be some changes. Now for Lunar players, hopefully you've been through this once before, but if you're one of the newer players, you may not have seen it. So do please check out my video. I'll put a link at the top of the screen and in the description, which shows you some battle action from this event. Don't forget about the Amazon App Store, where you can get up to a 20% discount on your spending in the game. Please do use one of my links in the description and I can get a commission. That'll really help with my channel. Thanks for the support. So, how has the event changed? Well, this was the original map here. Now, if you... let's go to the next one. So, what's gonna happen now? Everyone's gonna start much closer to the middle, so they're gonna move these starting points that were on the edges here, and now we're gonna move them closer. We're gonna be the other side of the walls, I presume, or the walls will no longer be there. They're gonna squeeze the map, so we're all gonna be starting here. What was interesting, version 1 of this, and all the other versions, this area here, outside the walls, there was a, a shield up right till the very last week of the event. The event now is only two weeks long instead of months long as it used to be, and that safe zone, are they going to move it in? Is this blue zone now going to be a safe zone that we can all be in, and then we work our way towards the X, which is the castle in the centre, Fort Oak, that was the big prize when we last played. So to get to that castle, we had to breach through these gates on the way through. So the wall's no longer there, but these gates, so far as I can tell, will still be there. So you'll have all of these monsters that you need to uh, defeat to get through the gates. Now to get to these gates, you're going to have to build your territory across the map. So you're going to have to start to take your territory and get it to join up with these gates. So building towers. The more towers you build, you can bring them in closer. Now towers, this is where the main battle action is going to be. Let's go to the game now. Check out the message we've got. So it's a shorter event. So what else did they say? You don't need to break through those three layers of walls. The starting locations will be closer to the center. This means we'll get into the core gameplay. So what they're now calling the core is castles and passes. So this is where we're going to have to break. This is where we're going to have to build our alliance territory into the middle of the map. That will now be the focus of this. Now it says there'll be the ability to have enhanced contact, uh, combat. We'll have more resurrection coins, so we'll be able to take more damage. So my hope is that you'll be able to recover most of your troops, not too many permanent losses so that the huge players won't go and clear everybody, and uh, optimize rewards. So there's going to be a, a new set of artifacts, so that's always fun to see with massive stat buffs. Let's see if those massive stat buffs can even the score at all. Uh, but no, that's definitely going to be nice. So. Once we've joined this event, uh, they say this plan was tentative, this was a few days ago, so they might have changed their plan in four days, that's um, interesting. The event is due to start tomorrow, so the 29th of October to last for a couple of weeks. Now, if that safe zone isn't there and combat is more intense, we'll find that this could be a lot of people stuck behind shields. You might find that you have to shield, but you can't take part in combat on towers when you're shielded, so that will be the challenge. Do you drop your shield, start building those towers? The quicker you build them, the further you get towards the middle. Okay, so here's us clearing towers around the Fort Oak in the center. Preparation for that castle to open. Now what you'll see that's interesting about Fort Oak is it looks a heck of a lot like Avalon. The actual battle mechanics are very similar, so they've got these towers on the outside, they've got the uh, central castle, however, if you haven't got your alliance territory touching the castle, you can't in fact compete in the event. And the last time we played Sir Alace, we actually took the entire central region, and that meant that nobody could get in to attack that central ca castle. Okay, so there we have it, Sir Alace, season 3 are we up to now? This is uh, the new event starting tomorrow, so do so. Hopefully, you'll enjoy this one. It is a lot of battle action. I did like this last time round. Though the huge alliances have a massive advantage, so you might need to consider having all your top players joining the main alliance in the same way that you do for KVK every two weeks. This is the similar type of event where the top alliances are the only ones who are going to get to that central point. Please do check out this video here, which is the original Soralace video, the original Soralace battle event. I'm English Tim. Thanks for watching today.